Okay, Scorpios, <laughs> I am back. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So, Scorpios, fingers are crossed that we get through this reading without interruptions, distractions <laughs> at all, okay? Of course, take what resonates with you, leave the rest. If you are new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. Make sure that you have your notification bell on so you know when I post readings, go live, post on the community board, or any type of announcements that I make. Keep in mind, this is a general collective reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements. Could be Mercury places as well. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right. <clears throat> Spirit, angels, guys, and divine ancestors, show me what I need to see for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please return any dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, blockages, monitoring spirits offline and online around from my energy, my space, this reading. Return the energy back to its rightful owner and sender, 10,000 folds, so what it be. I say, I say, I ask that you put a protection spell around me and cover and shield me as I tap into this energy from the spirit realm for my fellow Scorpios. All right, so let's get into it. Also, ask that Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, step into the reading. I want to give praise and honor to my ascended masters that came before me, spiritual teachings. Also, want to give honor and praise to my spirit guides, the Holy Spirit, angels, my ancestors of love and light, and ascended masters. All right, so Scorpio. Oh, look what we got here. Proposal. Oh, some of you guys may end up getting proposed to very soon. This can be a love offer, some type of engagement, a dream coming true, some type of an agreement here. So this can be an actual engagement with a ring. This can be someone who is maybe wanting to like ask you out on a date. They're interested in you, whatever it can be. Oh, okay. All right, Scorps. So let's tap in to see what is proposal. Okay. Let's see. Let's use this deck here. All right, so tell me about proposal for Scorpio. Okay, so some type of love offer, an engagement, something possibly you always wanted. Okay, all right, proposal for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's do one more shuffle after this. All right. Hold on, y'all. Oh, I won. Let me make sure I have my protection oil on me because you just don't know. That's what you shield and protect me, spirit, as I tap into this energy, into this reading. All right. All right. Clarify proposal for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, okay. Empress. Taurus, Libra energy. Empress, you're about to get a proposal, darling. Male or female in the Empress energy. All right. Tell me more. Tell me more about proposal for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. Oh, child. Six of Wands, Scorpio. It's about time. It's about damn time, like Lizzo said, girl. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. You about to get a proposal, girl. Oh, happiness. Oh, my gosh. So much love and attention. Congratulations. The thank yous. Oh, oh. Okay. Empress, you about to get a love offer. Possibly an engagement. It's a celebration. This is a time of happiness, joy, peace, celebration. Some of you guys may even find out you're pregnant. Oh. <laughs> All right. So let's break this down. Oh, Lord. Something's in my eye, y'all. Hey, maybe my own eyelash. Okay. All right. So tell me about this spirit. Tell me about the Empress and Proposal. 
Yeah, I'm hearing I'm hearing people yelling congratulations. They're happy for you. I'm hearing hand claps, like a lot of hand claps in my ear. Oh wow. Okay, so let's find out what's going on. Tell me about the Empress and Proposal. Let's see. <clears throat> and for some of you guys, it may not be a pregnancy. You could just be in this very divine feminine energy. Mother-like energy. Oh, Lord. I know every time. Every single time. The devil. Why is the devil here? Oh, boy. Tell me more, Empress. Tell me more about the Empress and Proposal. Ciao. Now, depending on the reading, guys, sometimes the devil may not be as bad, but I'm going to look into it. Oh, well, Capricorn energy with the devil. Tell me more. So, Eight of Wands. Oh. Empress, the universe is communicating with you that this may not be what you think it is. I heard trap. Like, this may be a way for someone to trap you because you're possibly pregnant with their child. Or someone wants to attach themselves to you. Because you're so full of growth and evolvement, you have access to the divine on a different level. You are like a hierarchy, you know? Your energy is pure and enlightening. Yeah, this may be the universe trying to tell you don't fall for everything that you see. It may be a beautiful scenery, maybe have you by the water like on this picture, or you think that this dream may be your wish come true. This love offer may not be what you think it is. I'm hearing trap. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Ten of Swords. This seems like this page of wands and eight of wands is like the universe is communicating like, no, girl, no, guy, no. This ain't going to turn out that well. It's not going to turn out the way. Someone's trying to steal your light. Something is behind this, y'all, with the moon. It's not a one. Oh, Lord Jesus. We're going to find out. Tell me about the six of wands and proposal. Yeah, this may be the universe. Like, no, Empress. Don't take that. Don't take that. All right, <laughs> Jesus. What's the Six of Wands and Proposal for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Thank you. All right, so the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more. So the number 88, that may resonate with you. Someone has been working hard to get your attention. They've been working towards this moment. The Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. What the hell? What is going on? Oh, child, you got a karmic that's spying on you. Why I heard baby mama? Someone is spying on you. This Queen of Pentacles, a karmic female, possibly a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Child, this. Okay, let's break it down to see what this is about. Because somehow this Queen of Pentacles, this karmic female, is tied to this situation. Or. If it's not a female, it can be a masculine. A karmic masculine, just more in his uh, toxic femininity, has been working so hard to get your attention. And that could be why spirit is trying to communicate with you like, no, you know, don't take this. This may be a trap. Hmm. All right, so let's 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 dive in. Let's get more about this. Tell me more about the devil. Why is the devil energy here, Spirit, when it comes to the Empress and Proposal? What's this about? 
I heard binding and trap. Someone is trying to trap you to them, Scorpio. All right. The devil, empress, and proposal. Why is that here? Ten of cups in the reverse. Why is the eight of wands here? Empress and proposal. Eight of wands. Yep, I told you I cannot make this up. Spirit is trying to tell you get the hell on. Leave this shit alone. Someone can have cancer in their chart. You may have. Spirit is trying to tell you leave this alone, Empress. Move away from it. Get out of Dodge. Move away from it. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This new beginning ain't, ain't a new beginning. So, with the Ten of Cups in the reverse. This relationship is not what you think it is. This is not your divine partner. This is not your divine partner. This is not who the universe sees as your twin flame soulmate. It's a trap. This is this is not going to be your happily ever after. Whether it's an engagement, if you think this is your dream come true or a love offer, this is no. Mm mm. Mm mm. Wow, what is the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and Proposal for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So, to be honest, this is like a warning ahead of time. For some of you guys, this may have not happened yet. So, this could be future energy also. Because keep in mind, with readings, it's past, present, or future. Some of you guys may have already experienced this. This could be going on now, or this will happen. Wheel of Fortune, Fixed Signs, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Mm. Whoever this is, they're working hard to have this new chapter with you. They're hoping that things work out in their favor. And the way that they're proposing all of this to you. This, you know what? I'm hearing this person may be doing this in front of a lot of people, like a big-ass crowd. This, someone could have been planning this. Behind the scenes, working on this to make this big scene. Hmm. But really, this, yeah, so could be a water sign or an earth sign. So, Page of Pentacles and the Knight of uh, Cups. It's like they're trying to turn things in their favor. See, the, the way that how this is going to show up, like, oh my God, this is my dream come true. I've always wanted to get married. You know, I'm happy I'm in a relationship or... But this is someone who's bringing this love offer that's really coming into break. They really don't have a lot to offer you, Scorpio. They don't. This is, they're giving this empress, this person is giving you the bare minimum when they bring this love offer. And as you see, this is the same person here. You see how this Knight of Cups has an offer, a cup in his hand? And you see how this guy is on his bended knee in front of this woman? This is the same person. Could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But what they have to offer to you as far as relationship-wise is breadcrumb. It's really nothing. They're giving you the bare minimum. Mm. Lord have mercy. Okay, so tell me, who's this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> so basically, in so many ways, they're working behind the scenes to make you feel like <sighs> this new chapter, this new beginning. Regardless, things are going to turn out in your favor regardless. But I feel like this person is putting that effort to make you feel like, okay, it's my turn now. The wheel is finally in my favor. I'm finally getting proposed to. This love offer is coming. This man or this woman really is making my dreams come true. But technically, this ain't it. This ain't it. 
All right, so Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Who is this when it comes to Six of Wands and Proposal? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm hearing like someone trying to make a scene in front of their baby mama or sister. It's a female here. Almost like they're trying to get their attention too. But <sighs> Let me keep going. Look at there. There go that monitoring spirit. Y'all, whoever these people is, they don't want me to tell y'all these things this morning. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Monitoring spirits. You're trying to take over y'all reading. Oh, Lord. Yep. Five of Pentacles. So this is like a mother figure, a baby mama. It's someone. It's a karmic female energy, but it can be a male. Someone left someone else out in the cold or... This Queen of Pentacles could be that same person that showed up as the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. I don't know why this may be someone who's trying to get a place to live. They may be struggling out on the streets. And they seen someone like you that's high vibrational. You're sweet. You're loving. You're kind. Your energy is just so different. So this is a karmic. Ugh, trying to... Yeah, child. Yeah. See how my screen starts stuttering all of a sudden? These karmics, someone don't want me to tell you guys. My screen has never done that. Because I'm telling on them. I'm, I'm telling you the tea. Five of swords. It's, it's a mind game. It's a mind game. They're playing a dangerous game here. Yeah. So I feel like that's this person. They're the karmic. They're lacking mind, body, and spirit. They're going through some things. They're trying to find a way to get out of their situation to come with you. They're toxic. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo here. This is not your person. Yeah. Yeah. You might want to look deeper into this because there may be another person, a third party that someone still got behind the scenes that they could be trying to cause you and this person to have some type of compass. Look at there. See what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, they got someone. Someone else is in the picture here. I can't make this up, y'all. And this is going to be a disaster. It's going to be a shit show. Everything's going to come to the full front. So you might want to do some digging in this person's background. And I feel like whatever you may discover about this person, it's going to break your heart. It's going to put you in your head, make you a little confused. There's a third party here, a queen of wands. That this person trying to put you in competition with them. Even though, of course, the empress is never in competition with anyone, but there's someone else. Yeah. That's why spirit tell you, leave this alone, baby. Move on. It's more to this than what you think it is. So do your investigation, research, do whatever you need to do. Sit with yourself and really evaluate how all of this come about out of nowhere. You know? Yeah. So yeah, this could be a strong earth sign. So pay attention to the signs. You know, if you've seen the number 88, pay attention. That may resonate with you in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And child, this morning, these karmics, these monitoring spirit is really not wanting me to talk. But we got through this reading, our third reading so far for the day. And we're going to keep going this afternoon, this evening, okay? Love you guys. You guys take care. Bye-bye.